Okay, so I want to make a huge, little, pretty huge, all kinds of things going on. So, uh, I'm going to be doing a Christmas in July event. That's right, a Christmas in July event. Uh, that is going to take place on the 25th of July, which is this month right here. Uh, we're going to be doing it on the PG-13 server, the PG server or whatever. Uh, we are going to uh, do, a, do an event where you have to figure out some clues and stuff like that. And then uh, the first person to figure it all out is going to win an epic prize. Uh, it's going to take place at the dev pool area. That's where I'm going to be hanging out at. That. to find that i know a lot of people will probably have questions on where that is but to find that here is spawn right here just go directly below from spawn i'm lagging a lot for some reason but go directly below spawn you can take a right right here if you want to and then just kind of go this way a little bit once you see this sign here and this little cave up here and everything like that you can just go directly down from here and you will see the dev pool area that's right the dev pool area is right down here it's this little pool of water here uh it got the name dev pool area or at least by me it got the name dev pool area because a lot of dev art artists and uh devs and stuff like that hang out in this area all kinds of people hang out here usually typically the dev artists and the devs themselves hang out in this general area and stuff like that so this just gets the name dev pool area so uh, i will be hanging out either around this tree itself or maybe around this cookie table or maybe over here somewhere uh, the point is i'll be here somewhere uh now wh what i'm going to be doing is i'm essentially going to be sitting down uh people are going to come to me one by one and they're going to ask for the first riddle i will give out the first riddle uh publicly the first clue or whatever is going to give it out publicly the first person to bring back you know whatever item it is uh let's say the item is a cookie like this person is trying to give me or whatever uh then i will say that is the correct item and then i will whisper that person the next clue and then they will go out and try to find the next clue whoever finds each of the items that i'm asking for first will win and the prize that you will win is actually a actual in-game toy now the toys in case you're wondering are things like the plushie on my head and now these are default everyone has these but as you can see that from this person up here there's actually a bird on their head that is actually a toy uh, an in-game toy it's one of 64 toys uh so why do they keep saying why do they keep saying pony town mod i'm not a, i'm not a mod these things, like this this bird on the head, and as well as several other things, such as a halo and other toys and stuff like that, are things that you can only ever get during the Christmas event in Ponytown. The Christmas event is something around the Christmas season and everything like that. They just hide little uh, presents that just spawn randomly across the map, and then if you grab them and open them, you'll get one of 64 toys. Uh, they're pretty neat. They're fun to collect and everything like that. Uh, but I figured it would be nice to give people an opportunity to collect those things if they haven't uh, you know been part of the game for more than a year or if they you know were part of it but missed it at an event or something like that you know i think it would have to actually come up to me and actually show and prove that you don't have any toys so you're going to do the slash toys command and show off how many toys you've collected as you can see i've collected all 64. so you're going to do this command and if it says zero then i will uh, allow you to participate and you'll be able to continue playing and everything like that and the first person to do everything will actually win a toy an actual end game toy i've worked with the developers on this and everything like that they said that uh, i'm good to go i can do this event and i will be able to actually give out a toy uh and everything like that so that's that's pretty cool that's pretty awesome uh a couple of more things about it overall uh a couple more rules so to speak if i if, if you will allow me to gather my words here and my thoughts or whatever uh a couple more rules is obviously you can't tell anyone the answer and you must leave the area to find the item you're not allowed to just you know just change into a different character who happens to be holding the item you suspect is the item you're looking for uh so you can't change ocs and that you actually have to leave the area and actually go out and get it wherever it is again if it happens to be a cookie you can grab it from the cookie table and then bring it directly to me although the cookie table is there so but yeah if it's something like that you actually have to leave the area and come back with the item in hand and actually give it to me using the give me mechanic if you're curious on how to give items it is as simple as clicking the character so i will click this character here i will hit this button here and then hit give item it will send a request it says i cannot give item for some reason okay they don't want me giving them items some people have that turned off i want have that turned off so let's use the example for this character so we click them this comes up we click this little gear icon here we hit give item and it sends the item request to that 
that character, that player, or whatever. And then they can choose to accept it and they will get it. This is how you will give me the items. You have to actually physically give it to me. And I will be counting it in order. So when some multiple requests come through, multiple little bubbles will appear up here on the side. And I will be doing it in order. So whoever actually give me, you know, requested the item first, I will choose them versus whoever gave the item second. And then I will give them the riddle. And then I will give the next person the riddle and so on and so on until I've went through all of them. So uh, that's how this event is going to work. Um, I hope this video kind of cleared things up about how this is supposed to work and everything like that. And I hope that it kind of helps and everything like that because I know people are going to have a lot of questions about this and I don't want to have to answer the questions like a million times. But if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. That way I can include them for uh, future reference. If I can, Maybe I can include them for a, uh, a YouTube comment comment post or whatever and stuff like that so uh you know keep you know give give me as many questions as you possibly can think of for this christmas and july event down in the comments below it's going to be having happening on the uh, around 12 u.s central time uh that's going to be on the 25th on the pg server it's not going to be on the 18 plus server the reason why is because uh, i want it to be as accessible as possible to as many players as possible and to do that i'm going to be using the 13 and up server so uh yeah that's going to do it for this little announcement or this little uh, video or whatever the heck this is this is meant to be um but yeah that's that's gonna do it for all of this uh i do hope that you know i i, I hope to see you there and uh i hope to, you have some fun with this so uh yeah that's gonna do it for the video uh and i like i said i hope to see you so uh yeah be sure to subscribe as well because you know if you're new to the channel and you don't know what the heck is going on i make ponytown content all the time uh three times out of the week every week and of course i also have you know other things as well just random things i do here and there and stuff like that so uh yeah if you like if you like ponytown and stuff like that i highly recommend just watching one or two of my other videos to get an idea of what kind of content i'm making here and uh yeah uh, that's gonna do it so uh now now i'm gonna officially say goodbye goodbye